as the case last year, the objective is to provide a welcome ease for consumers, which is obviously on top of what has happened already for the year, and we feel that the timing is right with respect to being able to do this in a significant way. Having faced about 33 months of significant economic challenges, COVID, the Ashfall, Hurricane Elsa, the war in Ukraine this year, um, we believe that at this Yuletide season, consumers will certainly be will benefit from the 17.5% reduction in prices on the day of goods on the day that attract VAT, and therefore will be able to stretch their budgets um, even further um, than previously anticipated. Only goods are eligible. Uh, eligible goods must be available for sale with immediate issuance or delivery to the customer on the day. Orders for goods that are not in stock do not qualify. Higher purchase sales are eligible. This is to facilitate those persons who may not have the ready cash to be able to make purchases at this time. Credit purchases, however, or goods on consignment or from wholesale distribution centers are not eligible. Let me repeat. Credit purchases or goods on consignment or from wholesale distribution centers are not eligible. Last year when we did the assessment, it came in at just around four um, and a half, given obviously with respect to the, the increase in sales on the day in relation to, to, to that. So the data that we have been able to, to mine demonstrates that obviously notwithstanding the little um, seasonality with respect to the fact that it was on the day that we gave the, the, the waiver, it is very much affordable in the context of being able to, to for government to be able to, to sustain it.